The Green Bay Packers are undoubtedly the underdogs in the NFC North. Coming close to making the playoffs last year, losing to the last game of the season to the Lions, to losing their Hall of Famer MVP quarterback Aaron Rodgers. Well, what if I told you that the Packers are going to make the playoffs and have a shot for the Super Bowl? Offense-wise, they have a young yet effective roster that includes a well-taught quarterback, Jordan Love. We all saw Jordan Love play against the Eagles, and to all of our surprise, he was slinging the ball. Jordan Love has been training hard this training camp and finally has something to prove. He is finally the starting quarterback for the first time in four years. Mix that with Aaron Jones, AJ Dillon, Christian Watson, Romeo Dobbs, Jaden Reed, and Samurai Tori. This young core is out for revenge. Defense wise, they have Rashawn Gary, Jair Alexander, Quay Walker, and many more huge threats. Last year, the Packers were ranked amongst one of the worst defense in the league, being ranked 21st against 32 teams. The good news for Packer fans is that, according to the Bleacher Report, Green Bay is predicted to have the best defense in the NFC North. Their division rivals' defense are ranked as follows Detroit Lions, 24th, Chicago Bears, 29th, Minnesota Vikings 30th. If the Packers finish the season with the best defense in the division, and if the offense lives up to the hopes that the front office has for it, Green Bay could return to the postseason this year. So here are my predictions for the Green Bay Packers record. Starting the season opener against the Bears, the Bears will do the bare things, and Packers will win that game, making them 1-0. Next game against the Falcons, I feel like the Packers will win that game, going 2-0. Three weeks in, I believe the Packers will take their first loss against the Saints. Will be a close game, of course, but will end up making them go 2-1. Week 4 against the Lions, making the Packers 2-2, two two, losing that game, which may not be close. Week 5 against the Raiders, Packers will take a W, making them 3-2. Week 6 is a bye week for them, the Packers are probably 2nd or 1st in the NFC North. Week 7 against the Broncos, which is a hard to choose. If Russell Wilson plays like he did last year, the Packers will win. If Russell Wilson plays like he did when he was on the Seahawks, Broncos will win. But, I will say the Packers will lose this game. The Broncos defense was very good last year, making the Packers 3-3. Three three. Week 8 against the NFC North rival, the Vikings. Packers will lose this game, making them 3-4. But we'll get the revenge later in the season. Now they're halfway through the season, they're three and four which probably makes them second or third in the division. Rolling on into week nine, they are facing the Rams, which will end up in a win, making them four and four. Week 10 against the Steelers will be another win, making them five and four. Week 11 against the Chargers will be another win, going six and four. But then in week 12, they will lose against the Lions, but still with a positive record of six and five. Week 13, playing against the Super Bowl champion, the Chiefs. They will end up losing that game, making their record six and six. Week 14, they play against the Giants. That's gonna be a close game, but the Packers will take the win going seven and six week 15 against the buccaneers will turn into another win which makes a record eight and six week 16 playing against the panthers bryce young versus jordan love who doesn't want to watch that that's going to be entertaining but I do believe the Packers do have a better defense, which will turn into a Packer win, making them 9-6. And, and here we are, Week 17, like I said, against the Vikings. They will win this game after losing all the way back in Week 8, which is making them 10-6, and six, which easily makes them into the postseason. And those are my predictions for the Packers this year. Let me know what you think down below in the comments. If you like this kind of video, I would greatly appreciate it if you hit the like button and subscribe. So then I know to make more of this content. I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.